sun worshipping didn't originate with the international bikini set. It was very large with the Incas of Peru 500 years ago. Witness, Intai, the sun god. The Incas were carving in gold when our ancestors were killing each other with tomahawks. They sculpted various friends and relatives in stone. Well, here's a typical freewheeling young Inca man about town. Strangely enough, in spite of their advanced culture, they weren't much on painting. Hello. Odd man out. This is Ricardo, isn't it? Si, senor, the Balançois. Uh, but it is not for sale. I, I uh, repaired the frame for a client. Yes, hmm. I'm so sorry. Senoras, what can I do for you? Do as we say, and you won't be hurt. We're not robbers, and we're not killers. Girl guides, perhaps? Am I spoiling the party? It doesn't matter. This will only take five minutes. But if you interfere, I shall be forced, much against my will, to shoot the famous Simon Templar. Mr. Coleman comes in. You keep him talking. And she won't get hurt. I, uh, I won't belong. Yes, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, I uh, believe my painting is ready, huh? Yes, si, senor. Hmm. Ah, an excellent job. I am glad you are pleased. What is wrong? Don't move. You have an appointment, Mr. Coleman. That should have been kept 20 years ago. All right, Templar. It's been OK so far. Just don't spoil it. who these men are. No. Or why they attacked you. No, no. 
could they have been after this? If so, they are very foolish. Oh, why? It is only a reproduction. Really? It's an exceptionally good one. I paid uh, two hundred dollars in Buenos Aires uh, five years ago for it. You had a steal. Well, no matter what their motive, I promise you, Senor Coleman, there will be a thorough investigation. Sir, uh, is that really uh, necessary, Captain? Necessary? After all, uh, nothing was stolen and nobody was hurt. Oh, senor, you're not serious. You, you see, at the moment, uh, I'm involved in a very difficult uh, business deal. It's of great importance uh, to the country as a whole. And any publicity now would be... Well, I'd rather avoid it. But, senor, a gun was fired. These men, they're criminals. As a special favor to me, Captain. I, uh, I won't forget your cooperation. Of course, if you... Uh... Thank you, Captain. And thank you, too, Mr. Templar. I am deeply grateful to you for your help. Why? Well, Trust you won't forget my cooperation either. Oh, oh I did not. I live in Chosica. Anytime you are free, my wife and I will be only too honored to entertain you. Goodbye, Mr. Templar. Mr. Coleman. Thank you again, Captain. And goodbye. Goodbye, Senor. So that's that. Yes. Just because he told you to lay off. That's right. Why? Self-preservation. Is he that influential? Henry Coleman owns the biggest gold mine in South America. He has powerful friends in high places. I get the idea. He's, he's rich, he's influential, whereas I... You're just a policeman. You may go now, Senor Templar. Thank you. Oh, by the way, how far am I from the closest library? Just four blocks in the main branch. Oh, uh, don't be depressed, Captain. Your only handicap is simple integrity. <laughs> Why, the frame's as good as new. Yes. Gonzalo did an excellent job. Can I get you a drink? Please. Who phoned him? Pardon? I asked you to ring Gonzalez and say I would call for a picture at 3 o'clock. Did you? As a matter of fact, I didn't. Why not? Oh, I was busy. I asked Salter to call. Five servants in the house. You're too busy to make a 30-second telephone call. But what difference does it make who telephoned? Surely the picture was ready? Yes. Yes, the picture was ready. Well, after all, Salter's your secretary. I didn't see any harm in asking him to... What's wrong, Henry? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Gosh, our friends made a contact today. Where? In the city. Want me to come up to the house? Right away, and bring Salter with you. He's probably in his office. Salter here. We botched it. Yeah. Yeah. Coleman got away. Look, I, uh, I think you'd better get out. Fast. Right. Do you think Salter's in danger? I've no idea. We should have shot Coleman on the spot. Been done with it. Don't take it so hard, huh? But how do you expect me to take it? I could tear into pieces with my bare hands. Oh. Mr. 
Solomon wants to see you. I, uh, I was just going across to number three shaft office. That'll have to wait. Yes. Yes, all right. Come in, boys. Close the door, Cash, will you? <laughs> Sit down, Sata. You know, I had a very interesting uh, adventure today. Really, sir? Yes, in Gonzales art store. Two men uh, tried to kidnap me. Kidnap you? But why would anybody want to do that? I've uh, no idea. Tell me, Zolder, did you phone uh, Gonzalez this morning? Uh, yes, sir. Mrs. Coleman asked me to. And what you say? Simply that you'd be in for the picture at three o'clock. Is that all? Yes, sir. Who else did you phone? Uh, pardon? Are you hard of hearing? No, sir, but I, I don't understand. We can forget Gonzalez. He's been running that shop for 20 years. But these men were tipped off. They knew I'd be there. They knew what time I'd be there. How? I knew I'd be there at three o'clock. My wife knew. And you knew. You do see my point, huh? No, sir. Very unfortunate. Who do you think you are? You can't do that to me. Shake down, will you? Being informer takes a great amount of skill. Very few people are suitably equipped. Informer? I don't know what you're talking about. Cash does. Don't you, Cash? Perfectly. Don't explain to him! Let go of me! Take him to the old number one shaft. I want to know the names and addresses, where these men came from, how they traced me, everything. You will get it. Remember, Cash, time is of the essence. These men. Why would they want to attack Mr. Connor? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Here, take a look at this. You know what it is? No, senor. Ever seen it before? Perhaps on the back of Coleman's painting? No, senor. Or under the frame? When I repaired the frame, I, I did not remove it. Hmm. This is the seal of the Krakow Museum. It was marked on the back or the frame of every painting the museum acquired. Hey, what are you getting at, senor? Whether the painting's a genuine article or not. I cannot say, senor. Mr. Coleman, he took the painting back to Kiosika. Perhaps I'd better ask him. Oh. I want their names, their addresses, everything. I, I know nothing. Man, was this the insane? Henry. Yeah? About Salt. What about him? Well, I, I know you're angry with him about something, but... Yes, Sam, indeed. But what did he do? Why do you ask? Well, is there any harm in asking? I wish you'd share things with me. Not just the good things, but your problems, your troubles. Oh, very sweet. But I have no troubles. I don't share my problems. I solve them. <laughs> ah, Mr. Templer, what a nice surprise. Do come in, will you, please? Thank you, Mr. <laughs> I hope I'm not intruding. No, not at all. I'd like to see you. Of course, you'll uh, stay dinner, huh? Well, thank you. I'd like that. <laughs> ah, darling. Mr. Simon Templer, my wife. 
Mrs. Coleman. Mr. Templer. A drink, huh? Thank you, whiskey and soda. No ill effects from our little adventure this afternoon? No, no. None whatever. What exactly happened? Oh, uh, two thugs tried to rob poor old Gonzalez's shop. Mr. Temple and I intervened. It was nothing. But I want to know about <laughs> it. Oh, dear. Don't bother yourself about it. Mr. Templer is staying to dinner. Now go and tell the cook, huh? Of course. Excuse me. Thank you. She is, um, very high strung. I did not want to upset her, huh? Understand. <laughs> We've only been married for a year. <laughs> really? Oh, congratulations. Uh, thank you. And um, your good health. <laughs> Leave him. We'll go and eat. Collected some very beautiful pictures. Well, uh, what is the good of money if you don't spend it? Hmm. Were you ever in Poland? Poland? Why do you ask? Oh, I just wondered. Oh. No, I came down here over 20 years ago with a pickaxe and a prospector's craze for gold. Worked like a dog ever since. Still do. I don't know why. Certainly not for the money. Must be something in my blood. Look for him. Okay, go on. Cash. I'm 
very sorry, Mr. Coleman, but... What is it? What is the matter? There's been a cave at the mine, number three shaft. Anyone hurt? No, but there's flooding. Oh, I'll be right with you. Wait outside. Yes. Uh, sorry, Mr. Templer, to have to uh, cut your visit short. That's all right. This is our emergency. Mm, I quite understand. Mrs. Gorman, thank you so much. Good night, Mr. Templer. Good night. Goodbye, Mr. Templer. explanation for this, Mr. Templer? I am an art lover. Please don't. What do you know about this painting? Only that it is my husband's property. Well, that's doubtful. Doubtful? Would you look at that? It's the seal of the Krakow Museum. This is a genuine card. Oh, that's Worth impossible. Worth about $200,000. You're mistaken. The picture is a good copy, nothing more. That's your husband's story. And what is your story, Mr. Templer? When the Nazis invaded Poland in 1939, this picture was looted. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting nothing. I'm merely wondering how it happens to be here. I don't know. But I'm positive my husband bought the picture in good faith. So did the Krakow Museum. Take what men you need, off shift. He's got to be found. Do you understand? We'll find him. Don't worry. I will. All night. Phone me the instant you get the news. Huh? Hey, Monsignor, very sick. the nearest doctor. In the village, senor, Dr. Lopez. This man is gravely ill, senor. Can you do anything for him? He needs an X-ray, blood transfusion, he must be hospitalized at once. Where? In the city. I will arrange admission if you can drive him there. Of course. My daughter is a friend nurse. She will go with you. I cannot. One of my patients at the village needs me desperately. Maria, phone the hospital. Yes. Where did you find him? Oh, the road on the far side of the village, leading to the mine. Then we put him in the car, senor. And the stranger drove him away. And you know where? Oh, si, senor. Doctor Lopez. Gracias.
nobody in. We wait till somebody comes. We must know where they've taken Salter. Hurry, senor. He is dying. Dr. Lopez. Mr. Karsh. I understand one of our employees was brought to you tonight. Oh, yes. He was very sick, very sick indeed. Internal injuries that I could not... Yes, we're all very worried. Where is he? I sent him to the hospital in the city. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Mr. Colmer will be quite relieved. Who is responsible for this? For what? This man has been beaten. Oh, I just found him on the road. He's uh, trying to speak. Excuse me. Uh, Go to... Go to where? Twenty-five. Twenty-five where? Avenida Pascal. Say that Coleman is... You've had an emergency admission tonight from Chosica. Are you a relative? His employer. Oh, I'm very sorry, senor, but he died ten minutes ago. Would you like to speak with Dr. Pinenda? Reception. She's resting quietly. Her condition is good. You're welcome. If he's dead, what have we got to worry about? I don't know. He may have talked. He may have... Hey! That man, Templar. He was at Coleman's tonight. He was at Gonzales Art Store this afternoon. Then let's see where he's going now. Mr. Templer. No heroics this time. Just the truth. What are you doing here? Oh, I heard this was the uh, local hotspot. Who told you that? An employee of Henry Coleman. Salter? Where is he? He's dead. I found her outside in a car. Well, now the gang's all here. Suppose we trade some information. Hmm?
Just give me one minute. We are not assassins, Mr. Templer. Neither are we kidnappers. We're Israeli government agents, and we're after Henry Coleman. Which, of course, is not his real name. He's a Nazi. Always was and always will be. What about Solder? He was part of our organization. He kept us informed of Coleman's movements, which is how we knew it being Gonzalez's shop. Unfortunately, you were there, too. He got away from Germany in 1945. We managed to trace him to Lima about a year ago. It will heal. Yeah, try a little brandy. Did you see who they were? No, but it's a safe bet they were Coleman's thugs. Just shows how far he'll go to protect his secret. What is his secret? He was the notorious Hans Krodik. Hitler's deputy minister of mines. The Nazi barbarism was worse in Poland than anywhere else. And Krolik put 5,200 Polish Jews, most of the women and children, into a mine. Then he blew up the mine and buried them alive. He's a murderer, a madman, a butcher. And our job was to get him out of Peru alive, to stand trial. It looks as if he failed. Well, if I can help it. Please, open up. Stay there. Call the minute you've more news. Right. Merkin is watching the police station. And? The girl's just been released. They're still holding Templar. They've got to be kept quiet. I've got to protect myself. And me? Yes, yes, of course, and you. Um, look, uh, drive down the village. Get the girl. She's probably on the 7 o'clock bus. That's risky. We've got a lot at stake. Hans, listen. Henry! I'm sorry it slipped out, like the old days. Forget the old days. I will, I assure you. If the people ever found out there was Hans Krolak, everything we built up during the past 20 years would go. 
we would be finished. Yes, I suppose you're right. I know I'm right. So be ruthless. You know how. You've done it before. Yes, I have. And I can do it again. Now look! Whoever murdered the Israeli agents will be brought to justice. I don't need any advice from you. And what's more, I don't want you around. There's a plane to New York in one hour. You'll be on it. You're making a reservation, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. What about Maria Lopez? Released. On her way home. And Nathan? He will be deported when he's fit to travel. Come on. Thank you, Captain, for your loyal cooperation. Templar. I, too, hate her. Look, I am as interested in justice as you are. Are you? You can... you can miss that plane this afternoon, but... you'll be on the one tomorrow, eh? Yes, Captain. And then we were taken to the police station and questioned most of the night. Oh, Papa, it was terrible. There, there. You are home now. There is nothing to be afraid of. Dr. Lopez. Oh, yes, Pedro. When? Badly? Do you know how to apply a tourniquet? Then do so at once. As soon as I can. Is 50 kilometers? I should make it in an hour. Pedro Sandino's son has had an accident with his arm. It is an attractor. You have to go out. But my dear child, he may lose the arm. But you are quite safe here. Just do not open the door to anyone. I'll be back as soon as I can. Couldn't take any chances. She may be out for hours. And we'll just have to wait. Doctor, can we talk for a moment? Yes, yes, of course. Come in. Sounds very frightening. Worse than frightening, this. What's the matter? What is it? Chloroform. Maria! 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 Oh, you. I'll walk up. 
up and down. Coleman has her, I'm sure of it. Well, what, what will we do? Call Captain Rodriguez in Lima. Tell him exactly what's happened. And if he asked about you? Say, I have a big interest in a gold mine. Hello. Hello, hello. Come in, Mr. Templer. I've been expecting you. Mrs. Coleman, I'm afraid I have some rather unpleasant things to say to you. About Hans Crowley. You know? I've suspected for some time that Henry had some sort of guilty secret. Just how unspeakable the secret is, I've only learnt in the last 24 hours. I am married to a criminal and a murderer. Do you know where he is now? At the mine, presumably. He's kidnapped a girl from the village. Mia Lopez, the doctor's daughter. But why? Because she knows what you know. Are you saying he intends to? Yes. Have you any idea where he may have taken her? None. Unless the old number one shaft. It's been abandoned. It hasn't been worked for 15 years. Will you take me there? Yes. Wait. Here, you may need this. Danger of what? Cave-ins, Gus. Well, you'd better wait here. Impatient, Maria. That is all I know. The agent who is still alive. Where is he? The hospital in Lima. And a Templar. Get out, Maria. Go on, hurry. Just follow the tracks down the tunnel. Well, you're about to take a trip, Hans Crony. Hey, listener, to Israel to stand trial. We, we, we can come to some arrangement. Look, I, I'll give you $100,000, huh? How'd you arrive at that figure? What? It's a uh, twenty dollars a head for the fifty-two hundred Jews you buried alive in Poland. <sighs> Swore time. Years ago, I was carrying out orders. Look, I'd be reasonable, Leo. And be careful. Drop your gun. Take him to the shaft, eh? Cash! Open the shaft! Yes, Hundred feet, Mr. Templar. Straight down. <laughs> oh. Run, <Ryan>! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
didn't make that trip after all. Let him go. Get out. Ingrid. Stop. But he'll get away. And the girl. Hans Krolich. Now look. Don't you start. Give Mr. Garn that. Oh. It's not the way he wanted it. Nathan's mission is completed. Thank you. 